In this video, we are looking at construction seven, which is asking us to divide a line segment into any number of equal segments without measuring it. So in my example here, I'm looking at six equal segments, but like I said, in an exam question, they could ask you for any number. So it could be five or eight. First thing I'm going to do is construct an angle on my page. So I'm drawing two line segments. The length of the line segments is irrelevant. So just draw a line on your page and create an angle. I am just going to put dots at the end of my lines to denote that they're segments. So I'm putting a dot here, here, and my third one. I'm going to label those points A, B, and C. You can call them any letter. Uh, I'm just going A, Bs, and Cs. So my first one is an A, then a B, and a C. I'm now taking out my compass and I'm sitting my compass at the point A. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark off six segments along this line AC. Now they can be of any distance or of any length. So when you're setting the radius of your compass, it's up to you um, what the gap between the nib of your compass and the pencil is. Just make sure that you don't go too big because you have to fit the six of them on this line segment AC. Now, I don't need to finish at the point C, okay? So that's the important thing to note. So I think I should be able to fit about six of them there with that uh, radius, so hopefully I can. And I'm going to mark off six segments. So there's my first arc. I'm moving the nib of my compass now along to that arc, and I'm going to mark off my second arc. Again, I'm looking for six, don't forget. I'm coming along and I'm marking off my third, pushing along and marking off my fourth, and onto my fifth one, and finally onto my sixth one. Double check, one, two, three, four, five, and my sixth arc. And once again, notice that I do not have to finish at C. So there's my sixth one. I'm now going to put away my compass. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to draw lines from these red dots down to this line segment of AB. But the first one is the important one. What we're going to do is we're going to create a line from our final dot, our sixth segment, down to the point B. Again, this point C is irrelevant now. That was just to help us get started with the question. So I'm basically creating six segments, one, two, three, four, five, six. And the end of my sixth one is going to be creating a line from there to B. And I'm gonna use my ruler and my set square to help me draw that line. So with my set square, I'm connecting it to my first red dot and it should pass through the corner B, which it is. And I'm now going to move my ruler to the base of my set square because I'm going to use it as a scale that I'm going to slide my set square along. I'm now going to connect my first red dot to the point B. So I'm connecting it with my pencil. And that's my first segment. I'm now constructing my second segment. So I'm sliding my set square along the ruler until I get to my second red dot. And I'm now going to connect that red dot to the line segment AB with another line. So I'm, with my pencil, I'm drawing a line from the dot to the line segment AB. And if I just remove my set square for a second, there's my first segment. Remember that I'm looking for six of these equally spaced segments. So I'm moving my set square again along my ruler until I get to my third point here. Again, it's so important that you hold the ruler steady uh, each time. So you don't want to move the ruler. The set square is okay, but the ruler is the one that we don't want to move. I'm now going to draw a line connecting the point to the line segment AB. There's my second segment. I'm moving my set square along my ruler again, and I'm connecting the point to the line segment AB. I'm now moving my set square along to my second last one and I'm connecting the point to the line segment AB and my final one 
and connecting them together. So now I'm going to remove my set square now for a second to really see what we have. So I now have six equal segments marked off here. And that is telling us basically that the lengths of these segments are equal. So this segment is equal in length to this segment, is equal in length to the third one, equal in length to the fourth one, equal in length to the fifth one, and equal in length to the, the final one. And that's what this construction has asked us to do. And that is construction seven. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.